How's it going everyone? Welcome back. I'm just out cruising right now. Got bored. Sick of sitting around the house. Um, not going out fishing probably at all this week. Maybe next week. I'll get back out. Um, my wife, um, something I haven't put in the videos at all is she's pregnant. Um, it'll be my first child, both of our first child. Um, she's doing May. So we had doctor's appointments for that on Monday, then yesterday was just a lot of time spent with that um, cleaning up snow from that snowstorm we just had Monday. And now, you know, with all that snow out on the lakes and everything, it's going to make it hard to get out there and do anything. I don't have a sled or anything to get out there. So it's hard to get out there right now until people start plowing roads and, and um, making roads out there. So. After after there's some roads out there, we'll get back out. Um, I have to apologize. The ice fishing video has been kind of lackadaisical so far. This has probably been my worst start to an ice fishing season that I've ever had. And it's hard because last year was probably the best ice fishing season that I've ever had. Um, but last year was a little different situation. I lived on in a cabin on Prairie Lake. And... You know, two, three nights a week I'd have tip-ups in the water. Straight, sometimes three days straight I'd have tip-ups in the water. Caught a lot of walleyes last year. This year, not so much. But I haven't been to my good walleye spot yet either. Well, I, we went out that one time for New Year's, but it was pretty brutal conditions that night we went out there. Couldn't drive out or anything yet. So um, they're going to get out there some more. Like my three best spots I haven't hardly fished, or at all. Um, my best pike lake um i haven't been out there yet this year the problem with that lake is there's no boat landing no access to it very few people know about it it's only a it's like a 200 acre lake very deep um that that lake i mean i go out there there's a good chance i'm catching every time between a 10 and 15 pound wall or uh, northern and there's also a good possibility that, you know, you catch a 40 plus. I've never caught a 40 plus out there, but my like my top five, six northerns I've ever caught in my life, at least, have come out of that lake. Um, and I know there's gotta be 40s in there because a year and a half ago, I released a 39 back in there. So we're gonna get out there. We're gonna do some of that. Um, there's also another lake too. You don't catch any trophies out of by any means, not even close, but um, well, there's trophy bass in there. There's a big bass. I always catch some of them. But um, that that lake, especially if you get out there around noon, you, we're constantly running for flags. It's a good spot to take the wife and everything. She always takes all my tip-ups anyhow, so, so it's a good spot for her to get out and run for some flags and stuff. Right here, this is one of my spots that I always coon hunted. And I'm driving past. If I was ever a rich man or won the lottery, this is the chunk of ground I'd buy. Except this guy wouldn't take double what it's worth. I'd probably have to pay him four times what it's worth to get it, but that's another thing too you know we bought that house um in april and you know we got a kid on the way in may and stuff and it's just a, it's a small yard it's a small house we got a dog me and the wife and it's almost cramped with just you know me and my wife and the dog right now and then once the kid gets there it's going to be cramped so in the next maybe even next year or two. Could be looking for a different spot to buy, preferably out in the country. Definitely want to go bigger. Um, more room, yard for the dog and the kid to play in, all that. Let me know down below how your guys' ice fishing season's going, by the way. Mine's been off to a rocky start, but it'll get better, especially like next month. Um, I like to go out that uh, lake where I catch all those pike. I like to go out there just because 
um, you know, it gets a little warmer out. Some of that snow melts off the lake, and it makes it a lot easier to walk because you gotta you gotta go out there and walk quite a ways with pulling a sled and all the gear in the back. You gotta dig a shack if it's not super warm out, you know. And it gets to be a lot of gear to be hiking through that deep snow. There's no boat landing. There's no access to it out at all. You can't even get a four wheeler or a snowmobile on it. It's privately owned, so it kind of sucks that you gotta walk out, but that's all right it's definitely worth it you know if there was a boat landing it wouldn't be nearly as good a fishing as what it is and I love I love catching northerns I mean in that lake too it's it's you know it's super deep it's like 118 foot max is the deepest lake in that county and um, it, and it's crystal clear you know 20 30 foot of water you can see the bottom and me and my buddy were out there trolling um, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, and one of the landowners, he was outside um, sitting on his dock. We were coming by and and uh, we started talking to him a little bit. He was like, well, you guys should try uh, trolling some Johnson Silver Spoons up by one of the islands. I'm like, okay, we've, we've tried that a little bit before, never had much luck. He's like, well, he's like, most of the people that live on the lake, um, they just cruise around in pontoons and kayaks. It's very rare. You know, and I've been fishing that lake for 20 years. Very rare you ever see anybody else out there fishing. It's just all the times I've seen other people out there fishing, you could count on one hand probably in the last 20 years. People that live there, they just cruise around in kayaks and pontoons and do a little water skiing and stuff like that. Nobody fishes the lake. Which is kind of a bad thing too because all the bluegills, they used to be huge in there now they're all kind of overpopulated. But there is giant crappies in that lake. Um, one day in particular, I caught a 15 and a half and a 16 inch crappie in the same day while I was bass fishing, you know, back in high school when I used to bass fish. So there's huge crappies in there. Um, the profile picture, whatever for YouTube here, that crappie, the picture of the crappie, that I caught out of there last May when I took my mom and dad out for their wedding anniversary. That was a 14 and a half inch crappie. I don't know if you can see it here. Oh, I can't see it very good. But um, the R in my tattoo here, I went from the tips of my fingers all the way to the R in my tattoo. So it was a nice one. Um, anyways, back to my story. This guy was telling us to go up past the islands. Him and a group of people were out cruising in pontoons one day and, and um, they saw a dead fish laying on the shore up by the island. So he we went over there to investigate. And uh, I was dead, pretty decayed already. And uh, he had a scale with him in his pontoon, and he weighed it after it's dead and bloated and decayed. And you know, a dead fish, even after a couple hours, it loses a lot of weight and length and everything. But this thing is all decayed, and he said it still weighed over 20 pounds. So there's huge northerns in that lake. Um, I caught a 39 about a year and a half ago. I've caught multiple 10, 15 pound northerns out of there. You know, just the last few years, um, that northern I caught the 39 incher that was trolling 30 foot of water in the middle of July. Um, I, I've been trying to catch a 40 plus inch northern my entire life. Me and my buddy would go out there all the time trolling, and I said, Well, from what I understand, big northerns I like cold water, so let's try trolling deeper water. And, you know, like northerns, it gets, you know, about 60 degrees. They leave the bays, they leave the weed lines, you know, the shallow weed lines and all that stuff. They leave that once the water gets about 60 degrees, and they move out deep. And then, you know, everybody fishing for northerns, you know that if you're fishing shallow and it's, you know, in the summertime, all you catch is these little hammer handles. You don't ever catch any big ones. If you do, it's probably a fluke, or you're not around here. Anyhow, so that's what we're doing and made the last few loops around. I'll actually put that, that um, that's been the starting photo in a lot of my videos lately, that, that northern that I caught. Anyhow, so we're all looping around this 30 foot flat between 25 and 35 foot deep the whole area. And that's where I do my ice fishing too. We're looping around and I actually thought I, I actually thought I had weeds on it first and then I felt it tug a couple times and a lot of people, I've heard it before that a lot of people 
they catch big northerns, they don't fight. Well, that was the case with this one until I got him right up next to the bolt. Then he, then he came to life a little bit. But that was, that was my biggest northern I've ever caught in my life. That lake's loaded full of them. So I can't wait to get back out there. Yeah, this year, it's, it's kind of a, I mean, I haven't been to my good spots yet, but I've been getting so many drops this year. I'm going to what should be good walleye spots, and you know, a lot of them are perch too, but I'm getting so many drops. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong, something I've never really experienced a lot of before. You know, it happens occasionally, but not on this level. I don't know what the deal is. You know, last year, I had a couple of drops here and there, but I was, you know, I maybe missed a fish once or twice all year last year, and I did a lot of fishing last year. And I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I've, I've only caught a few fish so far this year. I haven't been out a ton, but either we're not getting any flags at all, or they're just drops. My wife's probably actually caught more fish than I do. She always designates herself to take the first flag of the day, and a lot of times that's all we get. So, but, you know, coming up here soon, um, you know, when I started this YouTube channel, I messaged, a lot of you guys probably know his channel, or know him personally, is Kyle Tyree, he's the Wisconsin fisherman. I messaged him and asked him if he wanted to go fishing yet this year. I haven't stayed in touch with him at all yet this winter. He didn't live that far from here, maybe an hour or so, if that. Um, we're going to go out, and one of the spots I'd like to take him is out to that uh, Pike Lake. So maybe we can do a collaboration out there. I'll post a link below um, in the description to his YouTube channel. If you guys haven't watched him yet, go ahead and watch him. Um, so that's one of the spots I'd like to take him. He's, uh, you know, a lot of my recording I just do off a GoPro or off my camera. He's got a lot of fancy equipment, lots of cameras, he's got a drone and all that stuff, so it'd be cool to, to uh, join up with him and, and uh, do a video. Also something I might do, I don't know if anybody would be interested or not, is going out with uh, some a subscriber or two once in a while. Um, wouldn't bother me a bit, if, you know, especially if it's a local, it's easy to meet up. we go out there. Um, go anywhere really it don't matter to me I don't do a lot of jigging but if the person wanted to jig I'll jig um, do that you know like I said too is I work weekends I have um, time during the week off I have off Monday through Thursday during the winter months it's usually not that case in the summertime but during the winter months I, I have four days off most everybody you know unless they're laid off have has off during the weekends and I don't have a ton of people to fish with like me my wife my dad my one buddy when he's off work and I got another buddy when he's off work and that's about it so I wouldn't mind meeting up with some subscribers and going out fishing I think that'd be fun um, comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in if you're watching this and you want to go fishing let me know we could probably set something up um, let me know where you're from too or if you got a spot you might want to go um, let me know that too you know and eventually too like the Wisconsin fishermen and all these other guys they do great quality videos and stuff and they have all this equipment and, and stuff like that you know maybe at some point we'll be able to pick up some of that stuff it's hard for me to invest like like Kyle he's got a drone it's hard for me to invest that kind of money in, in um, fishing, you know, when I just started out this YouTube channel. So maybe maybe after time, um, maybe once we get, you know, some bunch more subscribers and something else I've been kicking around the idea of too is doing like a Q&A and doing um, live streams and all that stuff after we get a bunch of fewer subscribers, all that. Um, if you haven't already, I have an Instagram and a Facebook um, channel for this for this um, YouTube channel. The Instagram is Northwoods Wisconsin. I can put the link to that down in the description. 
and my Facebook page is called Northwest Wisconsin too, but it's not a it's not a page. It's a it's a group. Um, I wanted to make a page because that you know that's what people normally do for their Facebook um, for their YouTube channels. But I wanted to do a group instead. That way you guys can interact more than what you could off a page. And you can comment on stuff that I post on a page for the channel. But you can't post your own stuff. You know, I, I like seeing you guys as hunting, fishing, trapping, doing whatever, camping, outdoor pictures. Um, so I want you guys to be able to make your own post about that and ask questions. And you can even sell stuff, do whatever. It's a group. It's not a just all about me and every time I, I post a video on YouTube I also share the link over there I share them all over to try to get you know more traffic to my channel but um, so I wanted to make it you know for you guys too and if you catch some pictures and you're on Insta or catch a fish or do anything outdoors and you want to post some pictures to Instagram feel free to tag me in them I see everything um, comment on here too I see all the comments I reply to most of them um, all of that but yeah I, and also I've been you know like I said I've, I've really been missing coon hunting the last couple weeks you know I don't know if I can always kind of I, I think anyways depends on how my mom feels about it my dad's always on board but, um, maybe get a hound in the near future possibly and keep it at my mom and dad's house that's where I've usually always kept him anyhow. My mom, she don't care for it too much. I don't know how the neighbors care for it either with the barking of the hounds and everything, but um, I might be able to keep a hound down there. If I, if I don't get hounds again, I can always, you know, I know plenty of people with hounds still that still coon hunt and everything. I love coon hunting. Something I've never done is um, coyote hunt. Excuse me. Coyote hunted with um, hounds, or bear hunted with hounds, or bobcat hunted with, with hounds. Um, but I do know people that do that too, and you know maybe that's something we can do at some point too. Is you know run some coyote and bears and do all that stuff. Something too. My buddy, you've seen him in a couple of videos. <laughs> he went out and bought a new AR with a night vision scope on it for coyote hunting. You know. Get the, get the fawn killers. So, I think he's going to be laid off probably within the next two or three weeks. So, when that happens, I would think I'd be able to drag him out of the house to do some fishing, but also be able to do some uh, coyote hunting, get some night vision. That uh, cool thing about that scope on there is it records video with night vision. So I would think that would be a pretty cool video to make for you guys. Maybe do it a few times. Um, comment down below too if, that, if uh, you've ever done anything like that. You coyote hunt. Do any of that stuff. So anyhow, I just wanted to come at you guys with this video. Let you know what's going on. Tell you a little bit about me. I haven't, you know, really told you guys a whole lot about myself this whole time I've been making videos I've only been making videos since like July or something but um, and, and, and I think the channel is doing well for it not being very old like I said it's not even you know, five six months old six seven months something like that um, I think it's growing fast so I want to thank you guys for that for sticking around all the views I get the, the past subscribers if you're watching this video now and you're you decide to subscribe now awesome thank you for that um, like I said we do everything outdoors um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of barbecue videos this summer or fishing maybe do some trapping some crayfish trapping um, hunting next fall all that we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff so if you haven't already subscribe click the bell for a notification every time I do one of these videos comment down below on all the things I told you to comment on if you want to. Um, if you want to go fishing, meet up, do a collab. If you've got a, another YouTube channel or something um, and you want to meet up, awesome. Let me know. Um, check out all my um, social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, all that. I do have a Twitter too. That's Northwoods, Wisconsin. I very rarely go on there because I'm not from a big city and it seems like if you're not from a big city, you don't use Twitter. But if you want to 
look me up on Twitter, feel free. I'll go on there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.